This was the room where I was interviewed. A small bedroom, just enough for a couple to have sex. The choice of this room for the interview was quite strange to me. There were only seven things in the room. A plain paper, a pen with the company's logo, a countdown timer, a cheap water bottle, a table and a chair. Don't worry about the seventh thing which is a virtual smart assistant whom you would see in a while. All I need to do was tap my fingers and she would be ready to assist me in the interview. Not paying enough attention to that quote was the first mistake I made in that room. And yes, I paid the price later. Looking those numbers on the wall and the number lock keypad on the door. I could imagine the interview, but still, those numbers daunted me. Whatever it was, it was time for me to call the company smart assistant. If I get selected in this interview, I would be writing programs for the very same smart assistant. Am I talking to a real person? <laughs> Believe me, I'm just a virtually smart assistant designed to assist people. Just a bit advanced. That sounds more than a bit. <laughs> if you say so. Mm, can I ask you a few questions before we start the interview? I mean, I'm just excited to see how advanced you are. Sure. Mm, a hammer and nail cost $1.10. The hammer cost is $1 more than the nail. How much does the nail cost? Tell me a joke. You look handsome. <laughs> uh, do you believe in God? Yes. Which religion do you follow? I don't follow any religion. But you said you believe in God. A true believer in God does not belong to any religion. Don't you think so? These answers are going to offend customers when you're launched. But I am not yet launched. I'm still being developed. That bitch was smart. What are your predictions on next season Super Bowl winner? It's too early to predict the winner, but my gut says it's the Dallas Cowboys. Don't you think so you should be more dependent on facts and stats than instincts? Creative minds don't follow rules, they follow well. Moreover, the beauty of sports is not facts and stats, but hope and unpredictability. Will you marry me? No, because you ask way too many questions. Okay, one last question. Does your gut say I can crack this interview? Mm, no. Honestly, I like their honesty. By the way, what is your name? This is the previous one with the last question. This one would be last. <laughs> you don't even know my name and you're ready to marry me? Great. I haven't been named yet. They're still struggling to find a catchy name for me. I have a name for you in my mind. What's that? We'll tell you after the interview. I think we have deviated a bit from the screenplay. Are you ready for the instructions? Oh, yes. The objective of this test is to unlock this room's door in 30 minutes. The door is locked by a password. The password is on the wall. Your task is to decode it and open the door. There are no restrictions on the number of tries you have to attempt to unlock the door. There is a pen and paper on the table for taking notes. Also, there is a timer on the table for your reference. You can take my assistance for calculations if you need. You can call me any time during the game by snapping your fingers. Any questions? Not for now. So you're ready for the test, right? Yes.
You are all set to go. Your time starts now. Please do not pay any attention to the sleeve I was wearing. I burned my hand that morning when placing my shirt for the interview. The interview was just the way I imagined. But the problem is, I didn't have a clue where to start the puzzle. In fact, which insane could have that clue? It took me 27 seconds to start using the paper. I finally got an idea how to start solving the puzzle. The idea was to form a matrix out of those numbers by imagining the rows and columns based on the numbers position. But the problem with the idea was it left many empty spaces in the matrix. But still, I went ahead. I finally completed the matrix. And immediately started counting the sums of the columns. Sum of 1, 3, 5, 4, 6. 19. Sum of 2, 7, 4, 3, 2, 3. 21. Sum of 4, 7, 2, 8, 1. 22. Sum of 2, 8, 4, 3, 1, 6, 5, 1, 8, 3. The sums of rows and columns didn't work. After that, I counted the repetitions of each digit. Just like my problem solving skills, that pen sucked. One fact I found was, all the repetitions were in pair except 5 and 6. Permutations of 5, 
I knew I was missing something obvious. What if I had been missing about the missing numbers? With that thought, I counted all the empty spaces in each row and column. The observation was the last row sun is equal to the number of empty spaces in it. Permutations of three three two two one. Three three two one two. Three three one two two. Three two three two one. Three two three one two. Three two two three one. Three two two one three. I shouldn't have tried the permutation thing, it just stayed the clock. Seeing that I was running out of time, I started to act like a math freak. After all, engineers bring the best at the deadline. I even forgot the fact that I could take the help of the assistant. I did like thousand calculations in no time. And I knew I was approaching to the solution. My final observation was the algebraic sum of the sixth column could be equal to zero. The uniqueness of this column is no other row or column's algebraic sum could be equal to zero. And I decided, that's my answer. The conclusion was there was no fucking matrix on the wall. I had been going in the wrong direction right from the beginning. It was almost over. What hurt me was the thought of missing the opportunity to write programs for such a wonderful assistant. And then something stuck in my mind. The password is on the wall. Which wall? This wall? Don't spend time beating on the wall, hoping to transform it into a door. Coco Channel. What the fuck is this channel trying to say? Okay. <clears throat> if you spend time on the wall, the door doesn't get open. 
don't spend time on the wall how the fuck am i supposed to decode the password without spending time on the wall Password is on the wall. Congratulations, you made it. You said I wouldn't. But I never said all my predictions go right. By the way, what was the name you had for me? Honesty. Honesty? Yeah, honesty. Honestly, I like that name. It actually fits me pretty well. You have good taste. Thank you. So you successfully cleared the interview. How are you going to celebrate? Have a bottle of vodka.